My name is Paul Ovigel. I'm, I'm the founder of ERP Fixers, which is a consulting platform for all SAP modules, but personally, I specialize in the CO and FI module. Okay. I've been doing that for a while. Um, two of my main specialties are material ledger and COPA. Um, so today we'll talk about COPA. I'll, I'll start with COPA just from a very high level generic standpoint, then I'll get more into the HANA stuff. So a few of the differences that have um, uh, between um, account-based and custom-based COPA and how it fits into the universal journal. So, so first, we're going to learn how to view numerous COPA reporting fields within the universal journal, how they easily validate and they can be validated in the GL, what you need to watch out for when switching from custom-based to account-based, because most people are on cost and base COPA, so the different considerations are needed. I have a demo on, actually the demo is not on the COPA report, but the demo is on a few things that are different in S4 HANA with CO, account based COPA, such as the um, split of your COGS account into different components, and what's called the real time derivation, where COPA characteristics are derived real time, and you don't have to wait till the end of the month. The first, custom versus account-based COPA. 